Heard some reports saying that Blake Griffin possibly wants out of Detroit and has shared privately that he doesn't want to be with the team anymore. Um, I guess the Reggie Jackson interview didn't help. All right, we back. Marshy Sports Talk, we in the building. Appreciate everybody for checking in. And this ain't the first I heard. Somebody actually came to me in the movies live one of these days, man, and said that Blake Griffin didn't look happy to be here. Um, like he was forcing being here. And yeah, it's hard when you come from L.A. to Detroit, you know, be here. And I always want, I already knew he didn't want to be here. You know, I always knew that. You know, but he had another choice. That's one of the reasons he was angry that the Clippers signed him to that five year, whatever it was, $200 million contract. He had to come here. And he said he shared privately that he doesn't want to be here. You know, well, if you don't want to be here, just tell the owner to move you. You know, I'm just explaining, like, look here, man, this shit ain't going nowhere. You guys need to just tear it down. And I don't want to be a part of a tear down in my prime years. I want to go somewhere where I'm having a better chance to win. It's better than keep it real than be fake. Now, when you keep it real, it's, you're going to get hate. You know, everybody said they want you to keep it real, but really, they don't want to keep it real. They don't want you to be honest. They don't, don't want you to be the truth. That's why when you go in the place of employment or you're out in the real world, truth truth spitters are hated. They don't, you know, everybody that tell the truth, they hate it. People don't like them. You know what I'm saying? They just blunt. And everybody claim they want somebody to be real up front. But, you know, the majority of people, I'm going to say about 98% of the people don't want to hear the facts and don't want to hear the truth. As you know, on my channel, a lot of people tend to hate on me and sneak this, make videos and, you know, take time out of their day, which they ain't got shit going on no way and hate. But I tell the truth. You know, a lot of people don't like the truth. They like to sugarcoat it and, and say this and that. You know, this ain't that type of channel. I'm not going to cater to nobody's opinion. I'm going to cater to my opinion. I'm going to cater to what I believe. I'm never going to not keep it 100 on any of my YouTube channels. And that's just how I rock and that's how I roll. I'm not going to fake the funk in real life. Only time you got to fake the funk, funk is in a place of employment. And I tend not to just, I tend not to talk to people, okay? Show me, as soon as they show me they fake, you know, I distance myself from them. But like I said before, I wish Blake would just be real about it right before the trade deadline. Or maybe he has expressed, you know, he wanted to move. And they said, we're not going to move him. And he, what, 28, 29, right in his prime years? Yeah, he, like I said before, they should do him a favor. And I did a video before and move Blake Griffin. But, I mean, do we expect Blake Griffin to be happy with this team? You know, Andre Drummond ain't consistent. Robin, he ain't the right Robin for his Batman because, you know, he ain't, you know, he he just, it's the league, you know. Drummond needs a point guard that's going to get him up and down the floor and feed him and, and, and really assist him on being a great player or at least a good or favorable type of player, a good player. Um, you know, and they don't have that. Blake Griffin ain't a point guard. He just masking as the Pistons' primary ball handler. But that really ain't, you know, that really ain't, ain't him. You know what I'm saying? So, um, once again, it don't surprise me that Blake went out of Detroit. You know what I'm saying? Look here, you go from L.A. The Clippers ain't a historic, you know, franchise like the Pistons is or how the history the Pistons got. But it's still L.A. It's still the sun. It's still the women. It's still Hollywood. You know, Riddell Drive, Beverly, all that good stuff. You know, it's L.A. And, you know, he's trying to show up to some Michigan games and on the sideline. and He's trying to embrace the culture. But, you know, just like going down to some of those small towns in the South, it ain't for everybody. And it's, it's a hell of an adjustment. But obviously, if you look at the bright side of the situation, you're saving money in taxes in Detroit. You know, and maybe he, he, you know, he can't get with the cold weather. He used to be from Oklahoma City, and Oklahoma City is one of the boringest, gloomiest cities you ever be to. But it's home. It's nothing like home. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, pretty much they should move Blake Griffin. And where could they move Blake Griffin to? I mean, you really don't know. You know, the Boston Celtics don't want another heavy contract on their shit. They're trying to get AD or trying to get Kawhi or somebody of that nature. You know, the Knicks... They trying to clear house, you know, for guys to come play with Christoph Porzingis. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, you know, you really don't have a lot of picking spots. You know what I'm saying? Um, Milwaukee don't need them. You know, Sacramento don't need them. They probably could. They probably would like them, but they they don't need them. You know, obviously the Warriors don't need them. The Lakers, the Lakers wouldn't welcome Blake Griffin back. That's not the star they trying to get to go with LeBron. You know, that's not who they trying to get to go with LeBron. They trying to get. AD, Kawhi, and maybe they figure out they can't get AD and Kawhi, and later on they say we'll settle for Blake Griffin. Obviously, I can't really see that happening. You know, with Blake Griffin to go play for the Lakers with LeBron James, they looking more, they really rather take Jimmy Butler, you know, before they take Blake Griffin. But Blake Griffin playing so crazy, but how would him and LeBron mesh? You know, Oklahoma City could be a spot, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, they got some contracts over there with Paul George Westbrook and, and Steven Adams, but who would they trade? You know, they got some good money on, on, on a on a team outside of those three. You know what I'm saying? So, once again, I mean, Schroeder got a nice little contract. So, maybe you could do Schroeder and a couple other guys. But, obviously, they would want Ish Smith back. You know, they would probably want Stanley Johnson and Reggie Bullock back with them as well. 
And and you know, you just roll with that uh with Dennis Struder. He only got one more year in his contract. So I think Oklahoma City is a great destination for Blake Griffin. That's the team I think can most likely happen. Um, with Russell Westbrook, Blake Griffin, and Paul George and Steven Adams. I think that makes them formidable. But uh, but how does Blake Griffin, you know, play with Paul George and Russell Westbrook? You know what I'm saying? Really, how does he play with them? Right now, he got the ball in his hands. He's scoring. He's doing everything he wants, getting the stats. You know, but he can come off the pick and roll and do some alley-oop. It gives him a ton of depth or it gives him a ton of star power. And I think, I think if they really want to go for it right now, a championship, you know, that's the way to go for it. Um one of the ways to go for it, in my opinion, but you know, like I said before, you know, I don't, I don't know too many teams that's going to envision moving for him. Brooklyn is trying to attract multiple superstars, so it's going to be the move. Blake Griffin, it won't be, it won't be this before the All Star break this season. I think um, you're going to see some teams that think they're going to get some stars in the off season. They might get desperate and need to have some cap, need to spend the cap room or get somebody there to put asses in the seats. Then in the off season, you might see. If Blake Griffin come out and tell him that he wanted to trade or go public with it, I think he's probably already mentioned to the brass that he might want to tra- trade or they already know he may want to get moved. So you may not see Blake Griffin possibly moved until until the offseason. You know, if New York don't get the – Brooklyn or, or the Knicks don't get the player they want, if LeBron and the Lakers strike out and don't get uh, AD or don't get Kawhi or Jimmy Butler, who else out there or Oklahoma City feel like they one piece away – you know, maybe the Mavericks. We talked about the Harrison Barnes, Dennis Smith Jr. type of trade. Maybe the Mavericks want a guy to go along with Luka Donatich. Um, you know, so you really, you know, you really don't know. You know, so we have to see with Blake Griffin. But it doesn't surprise me. He doesn't look happy to be here. I mean, nobody wants to be on a team in a, in a city they don't want to be in. With, with cold and a bunch of snow and move from the sun, sh- move from the sunshine in L.A. You know, to to be bad and lose in Detroit when you could be bad and lost with the L.A. Clippers. You know, virtually they that team they teams were both in the same boat. Blake Griffin, we won everything for the Clippers, but at the end of the day, when you lose, you walk outside the Staples Center, you in L.A. <laughs> when you lose in Detroit, you walk outside, you in Detroit, it's cold. It's off the river, you know. Out of Little Caesars Palace, it's cold. Nobody's coming to see you. You know what I'm saying? You getting forgotten in the MVP conversation. You getting forgotten in the All Star conversation. So, you know, that's just, you know, what he's dealing with, man. You know, he's probably got so used to being in L.A. that he don't even remember what it is like to be in Oklahoma City no more. So, you know, I ain't mad at him. You know, I'd rather him move on and go take his talents and produce and get on TV. But guess what? It's the Kevin Love, Chris Bosh effect, too. When you leave a team where you get your usage rate is out, out, off the roof, out the building, and then you go somewhere else, you be a part of a winning team, your number's not going to be that boastful. He ain't got to be no MVP candidate on, on no team that's winning. You know, in a top four seeds in a in a in a uh, in a West or the East, he ain't gonna be winning in Portland. He ain't gonna be winning with the the Nuggets. He ain't gonna be winning with with none of those teams. And that's another team he could land on the Nuggets, man. You know, they got the players to do it. They got Gary Harris, and I may do a video on this later. Gary Harris. They got Paul Millsap. They got um, you know, uh, Michael Porter Jr., Will Barton. You know, they got Isaiah Thomas. So they got the players to trade for Blake Griffin. And Paul Millsap has been injured in and out the lineup. Um, you know, if they want to get, you know, trade Paul Millsap and the Pistons kind of just run his contract out and get a couple other pieces to go with him, um, I wouldn't be mad. You know, Blake Griffin on a winning team. They like to get up and down the court. I think uh, Jamal Murray and, and him can make sweet chin music on alley-oops. And that would be a good look. I, I think Denver is, uh, is an underrated uh, place. They got a ton of assets to trade anyway, you know. So we'll see how it go. Let me know if you think uh, it's true that Blake Griffin don't want to be in Detroit. Let me know a possible trade destination that he could go to. Let me know if you want him to stay. Let me know you think the Pistons could build a championship contender around him. Let me know the whole nine in the comment section. It may go live early uh, later on. But I definitely appreciate the whole Piston Nation, Lion Nation, whole Detroit, you know, uh, sports talk. And we have some more current event talk supporting the channel. Make sure you share the videos, man. I definitely appreciate it. Share, share the videos. The most important part of it. you want to make a donation to the channel, that's there as well. Don't forget, we on Facebook, Twitter, also Instagram. Also, you can reach out to my email if you got a question, business, inquiry, or sponsorship. And don't forget, we got a whole other channel. Check out my Goodfellas Sports TV channel. It covers everything, covers everything mostly outside of Detroit. I'm talking music, entertainment, NBA, NFL, college, um, a lot of boxing, MMA. We talked the whole nine, so go check out that channel as well, too. Um, and once again, that's probably one of the most active channels on YouTube, probably the most active channel. Uh, appreciate everybody one time for the one time. Let me know what you think about the situation. I'll link the little source in the description. One time for the one time. Once again, Marcy Sports Talking Boy, CJ Goodfella. And we're going to continue to stay holding it down real active today. Hopefully, you guys.